want you to notice just how smooth that is on both sides. You can see what happens when you have to pull your chain out and go back in. You get notches like this. That's what you get from going out and in. And you'll get that on a larger log that's more than 20 inches. So today we are taking a look at the SunGel 5800 gas powered chainsaw. This one was sent to me for review and so we're getting ready to assemble it and uh, give it a try. So you get the bar with that, a chain instruction manual. This is so that you don't leak anything when you are adding your fuel into your chainsaw. And then you got your tools so that you can put everything together. And then you've also got a mixing canister and a chain guard. So uh, we're going to get this thing put together real quick. Okay, so to put the bar on, you're gonna to have to take these two nuts off and you're gonna use this tool right here to do that. Then this whole cover is gonna come off and it's gonna give you a gear inside here and uh, and your chain and your bar is gonna fit right inside on two little posts. I'll show you what that looks like here. Okay, so your cover is gonna come off with these two nuts right here that are on those posts. And then once you pull that off, then you're gonna to wanna to put on your spike and that's just the two screws right there. Now on this cover, there is a little screw right here and that screw is gonna be your tensioner. It is connected to this right here and this is gonna slide back and forth. It's gonna keep your chain tight or you can loosen it to take your chain off. So that's gonna be a very important piece right there. So just remember that your tensioner is right there and you can use this tool with the, the flathead screwdriver and it's gonna fit in there just perfect. So I went ahead and I put the chain on first because if you try to put the chain and the bar over this, it's just not going to work. So I put the chain on and then I slid the bar in underneath and through the, uh, the two bolts and it went on pretty slick, pretty easy. So now we want to turn it on its side and put this on and then tighten that chain so that it's snug up against the bar. Now before you get your chain guard too tight, you want to make sure that you get your tension on your your chain correct okay so to tighten that up we're just going to stick our screwdriver in here and you can see that chain beginning to move and what it's doing is drawing the bar back and making the chain tight so one thing that you want to make sure of is when you are tightening these down that your chain is still going to move freely just like that and it's going to snap back like that so I think we're good to go. Teeth are headed in the right direction. My my chain guard is nice and snug. My chain is nice and snug. And so now this is going to be my choke. This is going to be my power on. And then once I get some fuel in it, I'm going to pull it right here and uh, we should be good to go. So we will be adding our gas and oil mixture right here. We're going to do a 20 to 1 is what we're going to put in here. And then right here is where we're going to put our chain oil and I've got some bar and chain oil that we're going to use in here. You can also use a 10W30. The, uh, the motor is strong. Now one thing that I did notice was that until it really gets broke in, you're going to have to tighten the the, uh, the chain every now and again. I had to tighten it while cutting uh, just this little bit right here. and uh, But, you know, that's typical for a new chainsaw and uh, just getting everything worked in. But I really like this saw and uh, it's going to become my primary saw just because it's easy to start, easy to use. It's lightweight and uh, obviously it gets the job done.